Yo, what's poppin'? Of course, we back here. We live. KUIW, the universe. First time in a long time. Two different artists from two different backgrounds. Tito Six holding it down for Flint, Michigan. Johnson's holding it down for Austin, Texas. It's crazy in here right now. How you guys doing, man? What up, Tito? I'm chilling, dog. I'm feeling good. I'm just happy to be here. You know, yeah? happy, happy, yeah, happy to be back in the mix of things. That's you great, know, Tito. Focus on these new records, new mixtapes, you know. That's a good thing. Johnson? Right. Same here, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here in San Antonio, just enjoying, having a good time. Beautiful ladies out here. Yeah. Same thing, man. You know, just working on new music, good music. You know, he the R&B artist, so of course he got the ladies. <laughs> yeah, he's got the ladies yeah. on lock. That's he what it is. He's out there for I, you. I, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's the main, you know what I'm saying? That's the main yeah. people I'm trying to, you know, get to. So. Yeah, me too. Shout out to all the sexy ladies. Man. That's a great look right there. Okay. So who... Positive energy going. If, if, I was to, if I was to talk to someone and, so, and I was telling someone about you... Who is Johnson's? Man, Johnson's is a Johnson's is a is a voice for the fans. You know what I'm saying? Johnson's Johnson's is that one person that came from nothing, didn't make it, had no chance of making it, and made something happen. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I you know I come up all the way from Brazil to the states. That shouldn't happen. You know, I you know just from from where I was at to now and this music thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I just I just feel so blessed, and I just feel like Johnson's is that one person that's sitting in the crowd looking up on stage, just saying. Damn, that's gonna be me one day. That's why Phil Johnson says. That's a pretty good thing you said right there, Tito. I mean, what about you? I mean, I, I remember, I remember when I was talking uh, to Astrid. You know, um, she was telling me a little bit about you. You know, all these features that you had. I mean, you Tito, know, just Tito, Tito Six ain't even Tito Six. Like, let's we go back to Troy Garland. Okay, let's go back to 1997. 1997, putting out records, being like one of the first independents to have like MC Breed, Dayton Family. And all them cats on albums and you know deals before deals was even popping off. Memphis Bleak, I mean, Bleak, Freeway, yeah. Stack Quo, you know, State Prop when that, when the whole Rockefeller clique was all together, you know, they came through, shot it, show love, you know, M proof like I said, the whole Shady Records crew. So would you would you guys both agree? Here's my next question: Would you guys both agree that the business nowadays is mainly sixty percent business, forty percent talent? Yeah, so that will go first um i mean yeah i guess so you know because you definitely i mean the best the business has to be there and of course you know talent you know you got to have the talent if the talent's not there then you can't yeah, go on with your business exactly yeah, you know what i'm saying so yeah. i mean i guess i guess so i, I would have to say 50 50 i go 50 50 on it yeah 50. i'm influenced by a lot of a lot of old records and i don't hear them kind of records no more and i mean like on a diverse level to go from al yeah. green to listening to the cranberries then to listen to dr dre and Jay-Z or OC, mm -hmm. you don't hear certain ill records. So I think it probably could be 60% business and like 40% talent, you know, that's, that's even though I, w I would want it like 80% music and 20% talent. Yeah, yeah like, it, like it used to be. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. When was that epiphany that you guys felt like this is what you were supposed to do? Tito, I'm going to take this one first. Man, shouts out to my man Bottles. Uh, I still fight to this day to be like, this is what I want to do. Like, cause, you, cause it's yeah. all business. With me, with me it's business. And with me, right. it's my money. It's always been about me spending my money to get money. Right. So I've been successful to spend my money to get money. And it's not like that no more in this business. You know, you can, you can, you, you know, you can't expect record labels to throw you anything. Like you better hope Google come with some change or hope advertisers or, or, or uh, blogs. Like the business is so different. So. Absolutely. It's great. I, I still, man. I still fight. Ain't no. So you're not, you're not really depending on one outlet. You're actually going above and beyond and just yeah, books, audio books, like a whole different. I got a story, so I'm going audio books. I'm going things that can inspire cats to who need information to make you know the music business happen. I mean, like sound scan, manipulating sound scan. Like, let's talk about that because. Tell me like, about sound scan. A lot of people uh, are, are you are familiar with sound scan, John? Um, a little bit, not too much. But that's but cool uh, that he's that's cool that he's not really because so, that's what I'm this, saying. And this is like one of those like enlightening moments, you know, where we could actually talk about something, exactly. you know, um, at least on the business end. I mean, to everybody that's not familiar with SoundScan, Tito, go. I mean, go ahead. SoundScan can be real and then it can be fake. You, if you really got hot records, you really can blow up and really sell some records, and 
mom and pops really don't exist no more. They are t-shirt and clothing stores now. So you get the FYEs and the Best Buys to hold you down. You get distributors. Shouts out to Jimmy Galgano, BCD. And you you pay certain cats to blow your numbers up. If that's if you ain't really got hot music. If you got hot music, you ain't gotta manipulate the numbers. Cats like him can go in Best Buys and FYEs, do autograph signings. He got a strong team with him, you know. People will hear about the music, he'll blow up naturally. It'll be real. And then you got certain people that's in the streets that got to spend a little money, that ain't really got time to do certain things. They got to manipulate the numbers a little bit. And that's how we talked about earlier, about the business being 60% right. business, 40% talent. talent. Yeah. You really ain't got to have talent. Spend some of that bread with some distributors, and you can you can manipulate the numbers. So the so, distributors, would you say, are kind of like bookies? Yeah, they're like bookies, like your, your middlemen. They'll, yeah. they'll bat for you a little bit, but once you get in, you got to put in work. And I'm not going to say no names. you see... Certain yeah. people get in and then they'll fall right off because they really shouldn't have been there. So it's a it's a it's a two way street, you know. So, but I, I want to hear his epiphany. Yeah. I want I want to go back I, to his. I mean, epiphany. yeah, because we went we went talking business and I mean I'm, I'm I want to know his epiphany. I, I really want to know this epiphany, man. Yeah. I mean, it like did, you just watching TV one night it just hit you like because it take a like, little something to go on American Idol yeah. and put in that work. I wouldn't do it. I'd be too scared. You know, so shouts out to him on that. Yeah. No. Awesome, Shout out to Tito. I feel like I won two Grammys. <laughs> 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 nah, man. But um, actually, um, man, my first epiphany, um, growing up, I was so poor, you know, so I could never go to concerts and see big people perform and, right. you know, all this live stuff. So so you were you were actually like me, the guy that couldn't afford a ticket, so we would stay outside to <laughs> exactly. just listen in on the show. Okay. Exactly, okay. exactly. Er, Man, I, I mean, I was so young, and you know, I was raised in Houston actually. Uh, when I came from, because I was raised in Houston. Shout out to everybody in H Town. But okay. I was raised in Houston most of my life, and you know, I came down when I was about a sophomore in high school to Austin. I've just been there ever since. I love it. You know, I fell in love with it. But you know, my actual first like epiphany wasn't even that long ago. You know, what I'm saying. I mean, I've always seen myself. You know, what I'm saying, doing this, and you know, wanting to do this music thing, and doing the music thing. Like I've always seen myself doing that right. since since you know Usher. You know, my way came out. You know, what I'm okay. saying when I was like like in fourth grade but like my actual first epiphany was just seeing a couple years ago Kanye West come through with the glow in the dark tour you know that was actually my first first big time like watching you know a tour show like that at the Irwin Center you know what I'm saying and you know I, I was already doing the music you know what I'm saying at the time but um, I mean like just you know seeing Kanye and you know just that being one of my favorite hip-hop artists my favorite hip-hop artists you know and every like Rihanna Lupe Fiasco yeah, um, NERD everybody yeah. that came through you know these these are people that you know are really influential to me yeah. exactly so you know I got to see all them performing I was just like oh man I'm just I'm really really not giving up till I get this till this is locked in you know what I'm saying Definitely. I mean I, you know cuz I just I you know I've seen myself you know what I'm saying on stage with those same people you know I mean it's, it's a little crazy how my life goes but you know it's like I've always I've, you know when I was young growing up and T-Pain first came out and everybody was hating on T-Pain and I was you were the one you actually embracing T-Pain you, you need to yeah. listen to T-Pain you know what I'm saying I was I always wanted to be with Convict I wanted okay. one of my tracks to come on Convict you know okay. Akon, <laughs> that, that, that nice tag right there yeah, yeah yeah you know and it's just you know I work I work I work boom all of a sudden I get you know cool with an A&R with Convict and I'm writing songs you know what I'm saying you know writing a couple songs for them so it's just kind of crazy how everything leads up really to everything out. Yeah. exactly you know because deep down in my head you know I see myself you know, being with somebody like good music or something like that. You know, shout outs to Ye, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, you know, we, we'll see how things go. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm here to just give my best. You know what I'm saying? Well, my plan is, you know, to get into this industry, learn it for the three three to four years. And, you know, from there, you start just, my own. You know what I'm saying? Start my own plan. Thing. So, yeah, yeah. you know, that was my first epiphany, man, was the glow in the dark tour. <laughs> shout outs to Kanye. And just the way you. everything was actually put together, you know? Like, exactly. I mean, and I, I, I'm sorry, like, right now I, I have to plug this in. I think. You know, up until recently, I didn't really see a really great show put together until I saw one of the Scoremore shows. Right. You know, um, so, you know, big shout out to Scoremore. Shout out to Scoremore. Um, my you girl know, Ashton. Yeah, what up, Ashton? Also my manager, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, it, it was really it was really well put together. So I, I guess I could really kind of vibe with what you're saying. You saw Kanye, show was epic. Exactly. And it just stuck in you like this is... This is what I'm going to do. Exactly, man. And, and it's like, you know, I humble myself to the point where every time I see a show, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, I, I love Kings of Leon, you know what I'm saying, as well. You know, I love Citizen Cope, yeah. you mm. know what I'm saying, I love Coldplay, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's any anytime I, you know, I went and saw Citizen Cope, you know, around the same time last year. And mm. it's just like every time I see, you know, a show, you know, with the certain people that I've looked up to and listened to, you know, it just it inspires me every single time. 
you know what I mean? And it just kind of, you know, puts that inspiration in my mind and, you know, that motivation to just keep pushing. Before we let you go, John, can you can you share just, you know, something a little bit off that LP? Um, not really. Not okay, off, not okay. Not off the LP, but I'll give, 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 give you a little song, something, you know, a little, little Ain't Got a Man for all my single ladies is to y'all. <clears throat> I see this girl walking down the street she looked good to me so i had to speak she was five five hazel eyes skin was bright in 1999 so i asked her if she got a man she said she didn't that's when i went in and decided that i want to get to know her so then I told her, baby, you can come home with me, get all in the zone with me, go long as you want with me, cause you ain't got a man, stay here for a minute, promise you gon' feel it, we ain't got no limits, cause you ain't got a man. All the sexy single ladies just for y'all. You just saw it right here. Two K Nation Hip Hop Mondays. Of course, your host, Mr. Kuliki Taka himself, the Two Cam Bird. Of course, if you don't know, now you know. John Sense, Tito Six, dudes were in the studio. They did what they do best. They told you how it was. They don't need fans. They're out there grinding, making believers. So the moment that you step out of that house, Make sure you know the first thing you better be bumping in your car is that new John Sense record or the new Tito 6 mixtape. Enough said! So make sure you check out your frequency. We will be raising up your electricity. That damn toucan, JC Flores, right here, signing off. This is how we do it. Mashup records, Shadyville DJs, coast to coast mixtapes.com, Radio Planet TV, World Star Latino! We get into it. Pow! I see this girl walking down the street. She looked good to me, so I had to speak. She was five five, eyes alive. Skin was bright, and I came not denied. So I asked her if she got a man. Y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy Johnson's bad boy. This R&B thing, man. You know, shout outs, you know what I'm saying, babe? Shout outs to my homie JC, you know what I'm saying? Had a great time here. If you need you need to look anything up for me, make sure you go to IamJohnSense.com. That is I am J O N S E N S E dot com. Boy Tito Six, Soul Say International, Flint, Michigan, King of the Great Lakes, one and only. You know, shouts out to my man JC Flores. And uh just Google Tito Six, buy records, support records. Listen to the you know, listen to the truth. It is what it is, you know. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Shouts out to Shadyville DJs, Shady Records, Mark Hicks, everybody in Detroit, Cali NY. It is what it is.